This episode of the Answer is Yes Baja Sessions is brought to you by Baja Bound Insurance Services. Driving to Mexico? You can buy and print out your Mexican auto insurance policy online in minutes with their easy-to-use website. They also have great travel information to help you plan your trip south of the border. Visit BajaBound.com, the easiest way to get Mexican auto insurance. Hello and welcome to this week's Baja Sessions. Uh, always happy to bring something new to you. Thank you for listening last week and your comments. We did have to do a re-air a couple weeks ago with Drew Deckman, and he's just a, such a fabulous chef. I know a lot of people hadn't heard that interview, so I was happy to re-air that. But today we've got something fresh and exciting and a completely new topic that I haven't discussed on the show yet, and that is about spas and retreats and wellness transformation. And today I have Tammy Peterson on the line. Tammy, how are you this morning? Good. Good morning, Jim. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, well, you're in Chicago, so it's not necessarily morning there anymore, right? Uh, no, actually, it's 9 o'clock here this morning, oh, so okay. yeah. <laughs> I, get the, I always think the time change is so dramatic for Chicago, but it really isn't, huh? So No, but it's, yeah, it's, you're California-based, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> we, we want to be as close to Baja as possible. So, uh, you know, I, exactly. I've, been ex- I've been exposed to so many great people doing our shows and um, some PR agencies, and I was introduced to, to your website several months ago, as I mentioned before the show, about um, what you do. And I would just love if you can tell our listeners what Retreats Unlimited is and, and how you got started with that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think that, the wellness industry is really, people are starting to become very aware of their health um, and, and typically their, their bad health. <laughs> so, so really what we're trying to do is to bring influencers to our um, luxury hotels to develop programming that people would be interested in. So again, it's more about trying to gather people together, not only to connect, but to, to get more active on vacation. Um, this is not about, you know, going on vacation and sitting on a beach chair and drinking all week. It's, it's kind of about, coming out of a four-day mini vacation or retreat, so to speak, and being different, um, being um, enlightened, learning something new that's good for not only your mind but your body. And um, it's, it's really about connecting people and, and sort of teaching them different ways to enhance their own wellness experience. So on your website, it says wellness getaways and transformational experiences. And that, that's what you're referring to as opposed to sitting around the pool all day and, and having those cocktails that uh, not only you probably won't feel well the next day, but you're adding on the extra calories and everything else that goes with that. Absolutely. Yeah, and, you know, it's, it's about connection, too. You know, it's about kind of, you know, friends getting together and doing something interesting. It's about couples, you know, reconnecting and maybe doing some adventure. Um, our property in uh, La Paz is great for that because we've got a whole retreat based around swimming with the seals and whale launching. So it doesn't necessarily have to be about fitness per se. It's more about the experience that we create Mm -hmm. where, um, you know, we just, we try to connect people and and really teach them something new, teach them a different way to vacation and, you know, hopefully allow them to learn something amazing about themselves while they're gone. I can't tell you how many times I've been on a vacation to a beautiful property and just sat around the pool. Like I mentioned, having drinks and you get back home, you're like, wow, We didn't do anything while we were there and almost having a sense of guilt for being in a beautiful place or somewhere unique. And almost, and I, I felt like I just wasted the time and it sounds like you're going to help me not do that anymore in the future. Well, and you know, we all need to do that. You know, we, we create balance through our itineraries and they're always the same. It's always a morning workout or an activity, and and much of the time, it's a four-hour span of time during the day where people can enjoy the spa and lay out. But, you know, in the morning, we're going to get that workout in. Um, We may have people take some time to join a discussion where they're learning something new during the day. Um, We're connecting people. We're, We're, you know, trying to, you know, bring back connection and friendship with, you know, strangers that go away together that wind up being the best of friends. You know, our retreats are especially amazing for women who are, you know, 35 plus, they're mothers, they're stressed out, they're working. I'm not saying that guys aren't either because we definitely have couples retreats, but, you know, we lack as women connection. And this really allows us to kind of go away with women who are, you know, trying to maybe drop a few pounds or just get their fitness back on track or maybe just experience something completely new. And, And that's really the premise of the idea of Retreats Unlimited is that, you know, again, trying to bring connection back and trying to, to give you a new experience to kind of talk about and 
um, not only break up the monotony, but, you know, really kind of get you out of your comfort zone a little bit and, and let you know that there's all kinds of things that you can do um, to make yourself, you know, better. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Can you give us a little bit of your background and, and where you came from and how you ultimately uh, wound up in this industry? Yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> um, we have spent about 20 years in the hotel industry. I come from preferred hotels and results, um, resorts doing their international public relations. Uh-huh. And um, then I started a company called Luxury Marketing Partners, and we did marketing and public relations for luxury resorts. Um, with that being said, when public relations turned into social media, we scratched our heads a little bit and thought, oh, God, what now? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, and, yeah, so, I mean, our industry has changed dramatically, and it was a little scary uh, to us because, you know, public relations firms are kind of struggling because the publishing industry is struggling. You know, our main job was to, you know, um, entertain the media, take them to our hotels so that they would go back and write amazing stories in Bride's Magazine or Weight Watchers Magazine or, you know, Vogue or whatever that might be. Um, those publications, <clears throat> you know, slowly started to alleviate their staff, which meant that they couldn't travel anymore. And some of them started to go away. So, you know, we knew things were changing um, into social media. We weren't quite sure what to do. And then we saw wellness emerging and we started kind of experimenting with wellness retreats where we would invite, you know, NFL trainers and physicians and people in the industry that were doing amazing things that helped to educate other people about their own health and wellness journey. Um, Again, I think that there's been an awakening very recently about our own health. Um, People are seeing what's happening around them, Um, watching people overeat, watching people be careless with their health. You know, we really want to teach people that you've got one body and one mind. And, you know, we're really here to sort of help people educate themselves. And we do this through influencers, Um, people in the industry who are trained in fitness and wellness, New York Times bestselling authors. Um, We've got, you know, beach body trainers. We've got famous, you know, celebrities that are teaching this as well. So we've got a nice selection of people that you may or may not already follow. Um, You might have read their books. You might do their workout programs at home. So we build our events around those people. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I see uh, you you have a retreat in 2019 with with Leanne Jacobs. She was a former guest on our show, and I I just love what her message was all about. And I can only imagine what it would be like to be in her presence and learning um, firsthand at a probably a beautiful property. Absolutely. And, you know, again, her message, financial wellness, it's, it's right there on target with all the things that, you know, stress us out as human beings. Leanne has a perfect message for that as well. Um, and her retreat is at the Don Cesar in March. And um, we're very excited about that because it's a very important component about being well. Yeah. I see on your site you have um, ambassadors, now, are those people that uh, that we can expect to see working with you and, and at your properties? Absolutely. So those ambassadors or influencers are all people that are instrumental in the fitness and wellness industry. So every retreat that we have is led by an influencer. Now, we're on-site managing logistics, but when you join a retreat, it's usually all about that person and their programming. So, for example, with Leanne, you know, we'll do financial workbooks and we'll teach people about, you know, how to, you know, manage your business as an entrepreneur and how to manage money. So there'll be many sessions based around that. But, you know, other retreats that are more based around wellness and fitness, yes, that influencer or ambassador is on site the entire time, eating dinner with you, working out with you, teaching you their philosophy on health and wellness so that you can go back and know that you've learned something new. Yeah. Now, how do I figure out which one's best for me? Because I see that you've got fitness retreats, meaningful retreats, wellness retreats, and you have all these ambassadors. Is this something that I would maybe call or email you and just say, look, I want a different experience, or I'm feeling this way or that way, and then you can help guide us through the process of what might be the the best fit for us? Absolutely. And, you know, sometimes you're not seeking anything in particular. Um, Sometimes you just want to get away and do something different. Um, which the retreat in La Paz, Mexico would be amazing for because we're doing whale watching and swimming with the seals. Sometimes you just want an adventure getaway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, absolutely. Um, Most of the time people are going to come to us because they follow an influencer in particular on social media and they already know what that person stands for. But if you call me and say, oh, you know what, Tammy, I really need to drop 10 pounds. (laughs) (laughs) I'm really looking to kind of get a jump start on my fitness. 
um, what do I do and who do I, who do I come with? And we, you know, obviously determine um, what is the best fit for you and we can kind of plug you and guide you into the best retreat. Sometimes you just need a reset. You know, we've got a retreat in um, Puerto Vallarta where it's no phones <laughs> for four days. It's nice. a total shutdown. You know, um, it's, it's a real true, like, let's get the stress out and stop playing on our phones kind of a retreat. So it just depends, you know, on, on what, you know, ails you, so to speak, when you come to us. Um, and we can absolutely guide you into the right experience. Because this show is about Baja and, and Mexico and, and pro tourism down there, can you give us a, a few of the insights in terms of, I know you've got your La Paz property. I'd love to hear a little bit more about that. And then maybe um, what happens over at Rancho La Puerta. Yes, absolutely. Um, so as far as La Paz is concerned, we have two retreats actually running at the same time oh, wow. <laughs> in January. And one is, a, uh, one is a couple's retreat. I know that should be interesting. Um, one is a couple's retreat with two beach body trainers. And so that's more of a couple's retreat. But, you know, what's so nice about La Paz is that the experiences are incredible. So we chose January in particular because we have been there many, many times in January where um, the the whales the whales are in season, and so what happens? The property is is um, situated on the Sea of Cortez, and these giant whales are in. You know, they're right in the bay there, right by the hotels. Like you could take out a paddleboard and paddle like right alongside of them. It's yeah. unbelievable, and they won't harm humans. So humans, you know, we we were um, we were out a couple years ago, and people got out and they swam with them, which mm. is totally typical. And again, they're 30 feet long. <laughs> wow. It's really something to see. Um, the other excursion that we do in La Paz, which is my favorite, is we do something called swimming with the seals. You know, we take the guests out about an hour on the boat and they get out of the water and they swim with seals that are obviously not in captivity. And the seals wait for people to come and they play with them in the water like puppies. And it's just, again, you're out there swimming with them. You're hanging out with them. They're coming right up to your you know, your mask, it's, it's a pretty incredible experience. I think one of the best I've ever had, because I'm a real big seal lover, but they're so friendly and sweet. And they, they just, it's really something quite amazing. Um, once we did <clears throat> that excursion and we came back on the boat and there was dolphins that chased our boat all the way home. So, you know, you get these three experiences in one day and it, it's just unbelievable. And it's something you won't get anywhere else. I mean, the Sea of Cortez down in La Paz, the area is not one where a ton of people go to. It's not like a typical Mexico resort. It's incredibly calm and beautiful. And the water is just unbelievable. Um, our resort is not crowded. It's not full of a million people. It's just a really peaceful, beautiful escape. Mm -hmm. You know, the grounds are wonderful for working out in also, but the excursions are really what drives us to that property. It's interesting all the things that you've pointed out from your perspective in terms of a destination um, property where most of our guests are down there through off-road adventure um, or bike adventure type things, but everybody has described the Sea of Cortez in the same manner. Um, I just, I, I, it's a place that I don't think you can get enough of in your lifetime because it is so special. It's exactly what you described with the sea life and, and the calm and the tranquility there, and I just love that you've got a property down there. Oh, I do too. And I wonder so often, you know, why more people don't know about it. And we worked with the general manager there um, for six years in Riviera Maya, and then he moved to this property. So otherwise we would not have known about it, but he in particular has been such an advocate of us kind of transitioning from the public relations firm into the retreat model um, because he let us play and experiment and kind of figure it out. So we use that property um, for many different kind of retreats. And, and sometimes, you know, when we first got started, they were smaller, but you know, the fact that we are able to sort of pull these excursions out and sell them to people who, you know, what a great couples retreat, you know, what a great thing to do with your spouse. You know, of course, working out is great, but to really go on an adventure where you could have this amazing story to tell and, and get to a property like that. And, and you know, um, Costa Baja is a five-star property. It's absolutely incredible. So, um, and of course, the cost is very affordable, but the excursions are really what make it amazing. Yeah. Let, let me ask you the question I always get about Mexico. I'm sure you do as well. Is uh, what do you tell your guests? You know, um, I, clearly your experiences are on the high end, um, and you have a specific clientele that that comes to you. What do you tell them when they say, "Well, is it safe to go down to La Paz? How do I get there? You know, um, how do I get around? What do you 